After Jesus triumphantly entered Jerusalem on Palm Sunday, followed by his cleansing of the temple the next day, the religious leaders realized that they would soon lose control of the people they had exploited for so long, and that would mean losing everything they had acquired for themselves. They came up with a plan on how to kill Jesus. They planned to arrest him under the Jewish laws and demand that he be put to death by the governor for attempting to overthrow the Roman Empire. The religious leaders feared that if the Romans decided to act on Jesus' claim to be king of the Jews, the temple in Jerusalem, which was the center of Jewish authority and by extension their authority, would be destroyed and make them lose the little power they still enjoyed under the Romans. One of the highly respected religious leaders advised that it was better for one man to die, that is Jesus, than for a whole nation to be lost. Today is Holy Wednesday, the day we particularly remember two people for the role they played in the run-up to the death of Jesus Christ on the cross. One is an unnamed woman who took a jar of perfume valued at 300 pieces of silver, which was equal to one year's salary, and used it to anoint Jesus' head. The other was Judas Iscariot, who was there when Jesus was anointed with expensive oil and argued that the perfume should have been sold and spent on the poor. The Bible, however, tells us that he did not say this because he cared about the poor, but because he was a thief. As keeper of the money bag, he used to help himself to what was put into it. Jesus' response to her defense reveals that the Holy Spirit had already showed her that he was about to die. Leave her alone. For when she poured this perfume on my body, she did it to prepare me for burial. Her decision to offer her most precious possession to prepare Jesus for his burial was an act of true worship to the one who would die to save God's people. Judas, on the other hand, must also have realized that Jesus was about to die, and maybe just maybe, God showed this to him so that he could repent and turn away from sin. All he however thought about when he learned that Jesus was about to die was how Jesus would no longer be useful to him because he would no longer have a money back to steal from. So, he sneaked to offer the religious leaders a price to betray Jesus a tenth of what the woman had poured out on Jesus' head. Strangely, everyone in this story is preparing for Jesus to die. The religious leaders offered a bribe to capture Jesus more easily. Judas betrayed Jesus for another, another month's salary, while the unnamed woman prepared him to be laid in a tomb. Even more strangely, everybody believed Jesus must die in order to save them. Judas thought Jesus' death would save his financial status. The religious leaders thought that Jesus' death would prevent Rome from breathing more heavily down their necks. But praise be to God for the unnamed woman's understanding that Jesus was worth her most precious possession because his death would save God's people not from Rome or poverty, but from death itself. Heavenly Father, this Easter, show me the true meaning and a deeper understanding of the death of your Son Jesus Christ on the cross that I may worship him selflessly and give my very best to him all the days of my life. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen.